Hey guys, so I am back in my tiny house. I've got a mess of things to clean up. I'm just going to share with you my day and what I'm doing, which is mostly cleaning up and hopefully going outside for a walk and whatever other random stuff that I decide to share with you. done with my clothing situation here. So I have one, two, three, four, and I have a little stack of four of these on the side. That's about all my clothes. So I, I've acquired now 50 articles of clothing, so I've gone up by about 12 since I last filmed my video. How you doing? You're frozen. Can you hear me? Yay! So my tiny house is clean. My loft is clean. Yay! Wow, I'm very tie-dyed. <laughs> right now, I am. I just got off the phone with my grandma. I talked with her for about an hour, which is great. And now I'm uh, part of the seminar that I was at in Switzerland, which I will definitely do a full video on. I have tons of videos planned related to that, but um, basically it's all about um, it's all about sustainability and uh, you develop a project during the week and taking leadership, taking action and basically inspiring the world to to care about our environment and to make more conscious choices. So um, for the longest time I've had this cart on ecobags.com and um, basically instead of like using plastic when you're shopping um, at a grocery store to put like your produce in you put it in these very light cotton bags that are made sustainably from a really great brand so this is what it looks like so I have one organic bread bag um, a organic mesh drawstring bag two of them medium size um, this produce set which is a small medium and large and I think I'm gonna get rid of this because this is just extra oh no I'm not gonna get rid of this this is the bulk produce bulk and produce bag so I don't know how that's different from that but basically so that when I go to the store instead of getting um, plastic bags and filling um, you can also use paper, at least at the grocery store that I um, usually go to. I can generally find paper that I can put it in, but this just feels better. So I think I'm finally going to get that stuff, which is super exciting. Still kind of have a mess down here, but I'm working on it. So I almost cleaned up everything. I'll, it'll just take probably another like five minutes, but I really want to get my walk in before um, it gets too late because it's now like two something o'clock. So, uh, I may go do that. It's really cold down here because I don't have the heater down here. <laughs> all bundled up because it's no fun to be outside in the freezing cold. So. It is so slippery here. Look at that. This might have been a really dumb idea. Oh my god. 
my shoes do not have very good traction. I'll try to make it work. Oh my god. Don't do that. Please don't. Not cool. Hurts the tree. Just not very nice. that was planned it wasn't that's where I go if I fall so my sit spot is right over there right there but I don't think I'm gonna make it there because it is so icy and I'm genuinely concerned that I might fall and I tend to really always hurt myself so I'd rather not. I'm just going to take a few minutes to chill here and then I'm going to head back. Um, basically what a sit spot is is you just go to a wild place in, in nature and just stand or sit or wander around there continually um, without really a prompt in mind just noticing your own thoughts uh, noticing what's happening within nature then I'm gonna head back hopefully safely as you may have noticed my hats they are for sale on my website if you didn't already know perspective quite as well as going outside and being in nature um, it just like forces you to slow down and appreciate appreciate all the good things in your life so many magical things that everyone misses because they're indoors um, so yeah that was really really great to be back finally um, as most of you know I've been I was in Mexico and then I was in Switzerland and then I was in Greece and so much travel is exhausting I got back last night after 33 hours of travel just crazy Alright, so back in my tiny house, I'm going to clean this shelf up so I can fit a little bit more there. But the main reason I came in here was to journal, and while I'm journaling, I'm going to charge this battery for the camera. go and see uh, what's the plan for tonight. I know I'm going to go see my grandpa later. I don't know if that's happening like in half an hour or if it's happening in like three hours. So just saw that my mom texted me. So let's FaceTime her and say hi. She's not picking up, so 
I'm going to go walk the 50 feet or 25 feet to um, my parents' house to see what's going on. Yeah. Why are you taking the <laughs> What? Socks. I get a knit two socks. Maybe when you come back to our house, yeah. What do you think? Oh, well, you can well. start knitting. Where the heck do I want to knit? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> the hell is it, huh? That's right. <laughs> okay, purple, because it's a... Alright, so I just got to my tiny house. It is 9.30 at night and... I haven't been able to work on my teardrop like I wanted to and just got kind of caught up in family stuff and going and visiting grandpa and then I had dinner and I'm really tired. Very excited to sleep tonight. I have hopefully a video going up tonight and I'll edit this video tomorrow morning to have up tomorrow. So. Um, just trying to get into more of a, uh, of a routine, so I shall see you all tomorrow for another video. I hope you're having an amazing day, and I will see you.